Hi everybody, Drake Strong here with Strong Auto Detail. In today's video I'm working on a 2017 F350. And this truck as you see gets a lot of use, it's actually a work truck for this particular client. And today I'm providing both an interior detail and an exterior detail. And the interior detail I go through, I shampoo all the carpets, I scrub all the floor mats, I scrub and clean all the leather seats and the hard plastic surfaces. And the leather seats I actually apply conditioner protectant at the end. I even put down protection on all the hard surfaces that give it just a slight natural uh, like like new shine. It's not too greasy or shiny but it just gives it just a slight shine as if it was brand new. And you can just right now I'm kind of going through and showing you and I'm showing you some close-ups that I'm not only cleaning but I'm trying to get into the details the little cracks the little crevices that just are hidden everywhere on all our vehicles and you see he has a child's car seat in there I even take that out and I'll quickly steam clean that not using any chemicals it just once uh, he actually had two seats and a quick steam clean you know keep the where the kids it's nice clean and sanitary Some areas to look for, besides the obvious, you know, the floor mats and the seats, if they've been clean. Other areas to look at are the seat belts, the door jams right, right here, the rubber seals in between the door jams, the headliners, the visors, if they get moved and touched. You want to try to look everywhere to see what has been touched, what hasn't been touched, what needs to be cleaned. To me, all this is involved in the interior detail. Every touching and cleaning every part of the interior. For my exterior details, I always highly recommend getting a decontamination or what I call a clay bar surface done. And here I can illustrate, you can really notice it on white vehicles. You see all those brown little specks that are on the paint? That Those never come off during a typical wash. And they're on all color cars, but you can only really notice it on white cars. Well, they're what is called iron deposits and they're attached to the paint and they make the paint feel really rough and it's really important to get that off before, especially before you put down a fresh layer of wax or a sealant because it creates a better bond for it to stick to the paint and it creates a smoother finish as well and, you, and right now I'm doing a chemical decontamination and it turns and reacts turns purple when it uh, there's iron deposits and you can just see on this truck how it is just covered with these uh, iron deposits all across the whole paint. This is, this will not hurt the paint at all. It just chemically dissolves the iron off the paint and makes it easier to, for me to pull it off the paint. And here are the final results. I had to pull the truck back inside because it looked like it was getting ready to rain as I was waxing the vehicle. But you can see just the interior of how it looks now. I'm cleaning and dressing all the interior hard surfaces. I also use a leather protectant on there. And the interior dressing I use is actually not that shiny. I don't know why, but on camera it looks a little shinier than it does in person. But this is after I shampoo all the mats. I mean shampoo all the carpets and I scrubbed all the mats. I didn't apply any protection to the match that's just for a safety issue so it doesn't become slick as you know people step on it but I did dress all the exterior plastics and the tires you can saw the chrome on the back how it just popped a little bit the door jams are clean I also waxed the door jams as well you see the headrests are off but because he I t had to take the seat covers off I just haven't put them back on yet 
can just you can definitely see the overall improvement for this vehicle it looks way better now I hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions feel free to ask give the video a like and thank you for watching